Good morning. Today is the sixth. <sighs> Sanctify yourselves, and ye shall be holy. For I am the Lord that bringeth you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. Ye shall therefore be holy, for I, for I am holy. Leviticus eleven forty four through forty five. As Latter-day Saints, we strive to live a life that is different, one characterized by complete integrity, moral purity, and charity. In short, we are called to live a holy life. We, as followers of God, are to follow the perfect model, living as He lives. It takes time to grow spiritually. We cannot cram or take shortcuts to the life of righteousness. It takes time to cultivate a way of walking with the Lord that comes naturally because the enemy within, the natural man, has been subdued. It takes time to be holy, to turn our thoughts and feelings heavenward, to reflect the gospel in our actions and attitudes. The Lord will help us. Just as he rescued ancient Israel, he will rescue us. We must turn to him to cleanse our thoughts, to correct our proud ways, to forgive us completely and to make us holy vessels who bring glory to his name god has called us to be holy oh. all right so today is genesis my eyes are blurry hang on i can't see a thing i think it's genesis 33 Genesis 33. Sorry, I moved it over there instead of up there, and I don't know why I did that. But anyway, Genesis 33. Okay, so Jacob is going to his his land of his inheritance, land of his fathers. He's sending gifts to Esau to ease his, his anger against him, and Esau comes running. Jacob is bowing himself. You know, he's like, please let me find the favor in his sight. Uh, he's bowing himself down seven times. Esau comes running, falls on his neck, is so happy to see him. And he goes, who, who are all these people? Who are Who's with you? And he's like, these are my children. And the handmaidens bring forth their kids and they bow themselves down and they meet Esau. And then Leah comes and then Rachel and with their kids. And, and he's so happy and he... He says to Jacob, he says, what do you mean by giving me all these gifts? What, is, what does this have to do, you know, why are you doing this? And he's like, I need you to forgive me. That's what I need. I need you to forgive me. I want you to find favor. I want to find favor in your sight. And he's like, dude, the past is in the past. I'm just happy you're alive. I'm happy to see you. You know, it's, I'm so happy that we're together again. We're brothers. We're supposed to be this way. So... They reconcile, everything's good, and Esau says, well, come with me this way, and Jacob's like, you move too fast, okay? I got little kids, I got flocks, if we push them too hard, they're going to die. So you go on, and I'll come slowly. And he says, okay, fine, I'll leave some men with you then, just to help you out. And then it says that Jacob came to buy a field near Shechem um, for a hundred pieces of silver and he he built an art altar to the, lo the Lord so that's what happened in this chapter um, that's that's all that happens in this chapter so there's nothing really to uh, glean from this except for brotherly kindness kindness and forgiveness and and how <sighs> we are supposed to treat each other as sisters and um and you know the the miracle of forgiveness if you will um i know none of us are in a major fight right now but we've had our we've had our fights and we've had our drama and and there's been cause for for the need 
of forgiveness. And, um, you know, there have been times when, when we've either acted like Jacob and been like, listen, please, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I'm sorry. And there have been times when maybe we're like, I'm not going to apologize. She didn't, she didn't do, I didn't do anything wrong. She's the one who's in the wrong. I'm not going to apologize. Um, but, you know, what's most important, our pride or, or um, our relationships? What would, what would our lives be like without our sisters? You know, I guess that's, that's the thing I can glean from it. But anyways, oh, I want to show you guys something that I found at DI. For $2. These things are like 20 bucks. So it's the Book of Mormon Part 1. It's the scripture stickers. Look at this. And then the Book of Mormon Part 2. They've got Mosiah. They've got Alma. Book of Mormon Part 3. Mosiah and Alma and Ether. I don't know if I'm showing them well enough. And then the Book of Mormon Part 4. More Mosiah. There's a Benedi. Alma. Ether. And it's supposed to have the Doctrine and Covenants and the Pearl of Great Price. But I think somebody just bought it so that they could get the Doctrine and Covenants and Pearl of Great Price and then put the Book of Mormon to DI. So how lucky is that? For $2. I think I'll put them in my scriptures today. All right. That was Genesis 33. And then next week, we skip over to 37. I'm fairly certain. One second. Yeah, tomorrow is 37 verses 1 through 18. We're going to skip right over, right over. Um, I don't know if it's important scripture. Obviously, some people think it's not because we're skipping over it. But the, um, the rape of Dina, Joseph's sister, um, by Shechem and Simeon and Levi murdering an entire city of men. You know, it's a it's a pivotal turning point in a lot of these characters. They're not characters. A lot of these people's lives, um, as we well know. What I'm excited about is um, the scriptures for for this next week because we know this story in detail thanks to the Ben Kingsley version of Joseph sold into Egypt, which, as I was listening to the Unshaken podcast yesterday and the day before like just the movie playing in my mind so the rape of of dina is important and the actions of simeon and levi are important and what comes after which is the israel has to move um jacob and and his sons and his family have to move which causes the um travail of rachel who then dies but all of that comes tomorrow and next week. And I've got to I've gotta go. Not that I'm getting ready for church because two of the boys are still sick. And I threw up last night, so I'm not going to church. Um, all right. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow.